So I'd like to introduce you to a little flat in uh, central Swindon. And this flat has just had its occupants move out. And they've left the landlord with a very nice problem, which was cockroaches. And as you can see, just littering around on the floor, are lots and lots of fortunately now dead cockroaches. These are a German cockroach. And we were called into this flat to try and resolve what was thought to be a small cockroach problem. But upon initial assessment, it became quite clear that it was far from that. And in this particular case, um, because there is nobody in occupation, we've been able to hit the property very, very hard um, using an industrial fogging machine. Um, applying solutions of uh, tetramethrin and permethrin, we've been able to knock down probably 95, 99% of the occupants. There are a few left living at the moment. We're dealing here not with hundreds, but with many thousands of cockroaches. And as a scan around the area of the uh, lounge, there's a few small dots you can see in this area. Um, this was the least affected area. What I'll do is I'll take you out now into the hallway. So I'm going to try and do this in one shot. And as you can see, as we move out here, there's a little bit more of what might be described a war zone. And all these dots you're seeing on the floor, the various life forms, all the way from newly hatched nymphs through to mature adults, typically going through several skin sheds on the way to adulthood. Many of these adults are carrying egg cases, otherwise known as a theca. And uh, those theca contain numerous new cockroaches ready to emerge and uh, begin the life cycle through to adulthood. Trying to uh, remedy these situations with occupants present can uh, require quite a sustained effort. So often if you're able to get the occupants out of the building, you can help the landlord bring this to a swift solution. The epicenter, as is often the case with cockroaches, was the kitchen. Unfortunately, we don't have any lighting in this kitchen as the uh, fluorescent tube is dead. Um, Initial inspection revealed quant cockroaches numbering in their thousands living behind this upright fridge freezer unit. Again, you can see the treatment's been singularly successful. And then moving on into the bathroom, we have what was the center of quite a large occupation here, which was the shaver socket. And if I just pull into the top of the shaver socket, you can see all of the fecal staining that was beginning to build up on top. And in fact, the cockroaches were living inside the unit and exiting through these broken power outlets for the shaver socket. Other affected areas, living quarters, the bedrooms. Again, you can see all those little black dots. There are all the dead cockroaches. And as part of our monitoring program to determine whether there's still some live bodies here, we deploy pheromone lures. And if I just come down here to one of the lures, we can see here we have a few culprits, some of which are still alive. So part of any professional treatment is ensuring that you've really brought this to a halt. And so we'll be carrying out further monitoring throughout the coming days to ensure that we really have. So wandering now back into the bedroom, we're gonna open up one of the monitors that we haven't yet inspected, just to see what's happening in here. Oh, 
And there we are. You can see we have some of the nymphs. So the little guy to the top right has not long emerged. One just above that, uh, which is still alive, has obviously emerged and gone through a skin shed. Let's pull back out of that. Now much of what you see would not be observed by the tenants. They would have certainly known they were here. And most of these guys have been hiding away, emerging during the uh, late hours of the uh, night, early hours of the morning, and feeding in the bins on scraps of food left laying around. But as you can see, given the quantities here, um, the hygiene levels of this former resident must have been fairly poor. So there you have it, cockroaches. Left unattended can get dramatically out of control. Thanks for listening.